Well, the top guys, they pretty well. But look how close Blake Young has got yeah. Darren Yates as they come onto the back straightaway. I mean, he's close enough. If he gets a good drive out of there, he might have a shot at making the pass on Aaron Yates going down in the cannon corner, but he's got to be a little bit closer, not close enough really to make it happen. But I tell you what, he certainly can. Aaron Yates, you wonder if he realizes how close Blake Young has closed down on him. Well, yeah, I mean, the last time Bob, he's looking at his board, he would have had a, almost a five second margin and then so he may not be that aware. Here we go, last turn through 14. Blake, you know, is gonna be giving it everything. He's close, they roll onto the throttle, making the run up the hill. Yates looks back and probably just went wide eyed. Oh, they almost touched, they are side by side. And it is Blake Young surprised Aaron Yates. I don't think Yates realized it. He looked over his right shoulder. Blake went to the left. And Blake, after that horrible moment for him at Utah, when the machine quit in the last couple of corners, Turns it around, a magical last couple of corners. And of course, Yates getting held up in traffic. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's what started is when Aaron got held up in that traffic. And then what he would have seen on his board would have been that 2.4 seconds that Blake Young had closed down on the white flag. I'm pretty sure. And um, he had no idea that he was that close to him the last four or five corners. And Aaron Yates is going to be very upset with himself for letting that happen. He's got to congratulate him. But that was certainly disappointing because Aaron Yates had the race in the back.